The art of innovation is just to create new ideas, bring something new to the party. Now, blinging your hook baits isn't something that hasn't been done before, but do we really know what we are blinging our hook baits with? What is the carrier? What are the materials? <clears throat> and a long time ago, I decided I wanted something that would bling my hook bait with lots of different ways. And to do that, I had to find the ingredients to do it. Hence our glug. Now our glug is so super thick. It really is. It sticks to a dry hook bait, whatever that might be. It really is so very, very sticky and thick. And so if I show you, I put my hook bait in there and this is just a multi-worm boilie and this will just stick. It's a little bit sticky, I do warn you, but it's well worth the effort. Because what you've got, you've got a really, really high attract quality base, which we then added further attractors to. So you pop your bait in there and you draw it out. And as you can see, that's really conquered off and that will stick around the bait. And so once you've cast it in, it'll land there and then that will slowly dissipate much slower than a lot of the other oil-based carriers out there. So there's reasons, again, with Palatrax, we're looking for edges, we're looking to bring new things to the party. So that will obviously bling. Now I can do loads of different things with these glugs. <clears throat> these are the pre-drill versions. So every one of these has been drilled, so it's much easier to obviously mount it straight away onto the hair. But what happens as well, when you leave our HMV baits in here, there's a natural sugar content. And so not only does that basically draw into the hook bait, but it actually really, really creates a very hard hook bait. So fantastic if you're fishing like in France and you're up against the Poisson Chat and things like that. But the main thing is by leaving them, and you can literally leave these in here for years, we have done, they will go, as I say, really hard, but they will really draw in a boosted flavor. So really, really giving you these edges. We're always looking for edges. Now, for an example, if you know much about Palatrax, you'll know how we really, really, really do focus on natural ingredients, pure naturals. And this is one of my particular favorite ways of doing it. This one's the maggot powders. So thousands of maggots, dried maggots, all blended down, a real oily texture to it. So I'll draw my coated hook bait out let the excess drop off and then I'll just pop it in amongst that. Give it a good old shake and you're literally going to get a really nice dusting. So it's absolutely covered and you put it into the tank. So we've got here. And so what will happen is the actual glug will slowly break down and the actual, all of the maggot powder will slowly disperse. And we call it cooking the bacon when we're blinging up baits or anything, when, you know, when we're using the method or anything like that, we're actually creating something. So the fish home in, it's how they find it. They use a thing called the olfactory system. And so they're tasting on the water like we smell on the air and they're homing in. So what you'll end up with these glugs is you actually end up with it not disappearing really quickly, it'll actually stay on there in the winter conditions, in cold water conditions, actually for ages, to be fair. In the summer, more warmer water, it does break down quicker, but it still takes a long time compared to anything else on the market. And obviously we've got a whole range of different flavors and you can do so much with them. You can experiment, you can chop and change, you can add things, mix things into it. I suppose your imagination is all that's gonna hold you back. There is so many things you can try. Um, it really, really is a true edge. There's nothing else like it on the market. It is so versatile, but more so than anything, it's all about performance and it's all about the actual ingredients. Very solid researched ingredients that give us, again, another true edge as we seek to catch more fish. So here we are, several minutes later, the glug is slowly breaking down, the multi-worm is sitting in it, and you can see there's the pile of the maggot is actually stuck within there. So what you've got is this super super boosted bait with all these natural coatings like you say you use daphnia you can use a snail powder there's all the different things we use and there's the next the next thing i'll show you is how we then use a further naturals to bling it even further so what we'll do is we'll change over to another glug what should we select now let's have the fruity plum one of my favorites and again a proven fish attractor with the flavors so this is how we'd use the dry daphnia so yet again you'd insert your hook bait or your bait on the hair into this thick syrupy. You're talking proper thick, proper syrupy. 
And then here we've got dry Daphnia. This is water flea. This is prevalent in all our water systems. And so many fish, well, all fish I would suggest, will eat this incredible natural bait. So again, all we would do, there's millions of whole water flea in there, all totally natural. So we're gonna draw it out yet again. Let the excess fall off, pop it in the bag. Say, so watch out, it, uh, it's a bit windy out here and so it's sticking all over. And so I'm literally gonna coat and conquer that with loads of, again, this tiny water flea. Especially in the summer, they're on there all the time. And so the same principle, you put it out there, cast it out, and again, the glug will slowly start to come off it. And that in itself will push out, ooze out the flavors and attractants, the natural sugars. And then slowly you'll see all of the, basically these tiny water flea in that state they are in. 60% of their original protein, so really high quality. And so that will slowly break down and that will be floating all around the swim. Again, bringing that hook bait up, using the knowledge we've got from the biology of the fish and the way they seek out baits. So why wouldn't we want to use something that they naturally feed on and incorporate it in with our attack? It really is such an exciting product when you get your head around it. Like I say, yeah, you get a bit sticky, but who cares? It wash off really quickly in fresh water, but the fact is it gives you a genuine edge. Say, nothing out there like it. It is so, so very versatile and it helps us catch so many, so many fish. I promise you, another true edge from Palatrax. And as you'll have noticed as well, not only is it leaving a pile of attraction around the hook bait, either with the maggot or in this case, the daphne with the water flea, it's also pushing it up throughout the water columns and drawing fish down. Again, as I say, a massive edge when you actually get your head around it and so versatile. You can do so many things with it yourself. You'll sit there and you'll think of things that I've never thought of. And I think that's what Palatrax is mainly about. We can put out ideas, we can draw you to our conclusions, and then you will experiment further and you will come up with further edges. And the Glug range does exactly that. Last but not least, the neutral Glug. So this one is so versatile. Again, you can add things to this yourself. If you just heat it up in the microwave for about 20 seconds, so it really warms, it become thin. And then you can actually like, I love making a naturals. So I'll get my maggot powders. I'll get my daffodil powders. I'll ladle this in, I'll stir it around. And then you just let it cool off. And again, you get a solid glug, the super sticky glug, but now it's actually full of all those natural things. Again, something you can experiment yourself with. It is such an exciting product. We've used it for so long now. We've caught so many fish. On those times, that I've, I've had it, especially to be quite honest, the hardened hook baits. I've left hardened hook baits in for months on end. And I fished, say for example, a Crave. We've got Crave here. So I fished Crave, nothing happening. I've put on a blinged, boosted, super boosted hook bait. Bang, fish after fish after fish. It's almost like that instant attraction that's taken them from a non-feeding state into a feeding state. It's like if you waved a Mars bar in front of me, I'd have it. That's what this is about, this instant attraction. Fish really gravitate to it. They're using that olfactory system to find it. And it's just pushing out all these flavors and all these natural attractants. Again, like all of our products, it's all animal feed registered. So it's safe for fish, safe for fisheries, and really, really effective for anglers.